Because Chris gets up at 5 a.m. every morning to get his routine. It's going. this gentleman in the front row would say. It's also yeah, Canadian buddy. Time too. Canada time. Four-time Olympia champion, Chris. Four times. How's it feel? It feels damn good. It's getting hard to explain, to be completely honest. It feels really beautiful being up here again. And I mean, it felt so good to be pushed by these guys. There's 59 of us on stage. So a round of applause for these amazing competitors in Classic Physique. This sh division is so exciting to be a part of, and I'm so grateful to be here and be at the top of it this year. They really pushed me to be my best, and I'm really grateful for that. And, you know, it's been, it's been a beautiful year for me, to say the least. There's been a lot of talk of my retirement for whatever reason. Not retiring. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I'm not going away. I'm here. I fuck love what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think it's really kind of beautiful that people thought that because I think it shows that I'm learning to really enjoy the moment and the journey and be present in it because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to kind of enjoy the moment so they look back and realize what they just went through and they're like, wow, that was like, I wish I'd been a little more present and enjoyed that a little bit more. And I think the fact people think I'm done is because I'm actually here enjoying it now. And it's a beautiful thing. I met a friend of mine, Zach Hunzinger, uh, this this summer in June, and he had a cancer and he was 19 years old. He was battling it for the third time and he told me something that you don't have to be dying to start living. And he was 19 years old, cancer for the third time, and the most present, grateful man I had ever met in my life. And I wore his bracelet up until I got my tan every single day throughout this prep and thinking of him and what he taught me. And it was one of the most beautiful things and he sadly passed a month after that he had taught me that lesson, but his lessons stick with me forever, and that's something that I want to pass on to everyone, just enjoying the moment, right. being present, love your family, just like sit here, soak it all in. And I had a moment this morning too where I was on stage and Hanu comes up to me, he's like, soak this in. These moments come once a year, I started crying. I was like, you're so right, like these moments are so rare and they're so beautiful. So I'm just trying to enjoy every single one of them. I'm so grateful. There's so many of you guys who love me. My support team is so big. My fiance now who's here who loves me, Courtney. gets me through everything. I love you, Courtney. My parents are here. My boy, Maddie Calvin, with me through absolutely everything. Ian, who showed us the road of how to get here. And Hani, who took me on at the beginning of this prep as my new coach. I can't thank you enough. You're crazy, but I love you. You put me through it. And it all paid off. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I'm so grateful. And to the Mannions, Weinberger, Jake Wood, the Olympia, Dan, everyone. Such a beautiful stage, such a beautiful show this weekend. I'm so grateful to be here and be a part of it. Come back next year for number five. I'm ready to rock it. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to be back here next year. Let's do it all again. Chris, you're nothing but a class act, my friend. Congratulations, four-time Olympia champion, Seabomb in the house. All right.